Welcome back hobbyists. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a UV curing station for your resin 3D prints using a five gallon bucket. I recently bought a Voxel Labs Proxima 6 resin 3D printer. Part of the workflow for curing resin 3D prints is putting them under UV light. So I was looking online for DIY solutions for resin 3D printers. And I noticed that most of the solutions used a small box or uh, a small paint can, used paint can, or you know, maybe buy a new, but the options I found weren't really satisfying the need that I wanted because I knew I was gonna print larger models and I didn't wanna have a height restriction. So with that thought in mind, um, I decided a five gallon bucket would be the best method for this. So in this video, I'm gonna take you step by step on how to create a UV curing station for your resin 3D prints using a five gallon bucket. The needed materials for this build, a five gallon bucket with the lid, a UV turntable, UV LED strips, oil tape, a hand drill with a half inch drill bit, a utility knife. The first step is to decide where at the bottom of the bucket you're going to want to drill a hole. This hole will allow the UV strip to pass through the bottom of the bucket and allow you to turn it on from the outside. After finishing drilling the hole, your next step is to cut the UV tape to length. Measure the inside wall of the bucket and cut multiple strips to allow you to line the entire inside of the bucket with tape. After the walls of the bucket are lined with tape, I place a few strips on the bottom of the bucket and on the inside bottom of the lid. This will allow the UV light to bounce around as much as possible when the lid's closed. Once I'm done taping the inside of the bucket, I begin attaching the UV strip to the bottom of the bucket on the inside, working my way upwards. After finishing with one strip, I do my best to begin another strip right where the first strip ended, and then again, working my way upwards until I'm finished with the next strip. Once I'm done, I attach the top and then turn the UV strip on and off to test and make sure everything works correctly. The UV strip I bought was 50 feet long and came in three different sections. And for the bucket that I've made, I used two of the sections. The third section could easily fit and fill the rest of the empty space. This curing station is a quick and easy way to make sure you have ample room for curing your large 3D prints. I've been using it for a few days now and I'm really happy with the results. Please let me know if you've made one or if you have any suggestions on how to improve it. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm trying to put out a wide array of hobby content for everyone to enjoy and those go a long way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.